Nike Academy Cup is a four-team tournament over two days. Manchester United, AS Monaco, Hertha Berlin and ourselves. We know there's a lot of scouts coming. We're playing really strong opposition and we know that they're going to take it incredibly seriously. Every time Manchester United play or enter tournaments, there's a certain brand, a certain style of football to play if you're looking to win. We have a very defined way of playing. It's just a case of implementing it in a tournament competition. We want to protect and improve our reputation within football and get a trophy on the ball. The tournament got underway at a wet and windy St George's Park with Manchester United against AS Monaco. United's lineup featured players who had graced the Premier League. AS Monaco knew they were up against a vastly more experienced side. But they started brightly and carved out the first chances of the half. United then began to dominate and Yanazai played in Pereira for their well-taken opener. In the second half, Pereira sublimed through ball, set up Rothwell to put United two up. Then straight from the restart, AS Monaco's Marin nearly scored from the halfway line. But Rothwell made it three for United, nipping in to tuck away the rebound following Yanazai's free kick. It finished 3-0 and United's tournament was up and running, leaving AS Monaco with it all to do. I played a few times against the Nike Academy. We know the clubs and we know Monaco, they're all big clubs, so we prepared very well for it. The second game of the day saw the Nike Academy play her to Berlin. This game today, this cup, is about us showing people what Nike Academy is. All the work we do day in, day out, just put it into the next 90 minutes. Play as a team and win as a team. The Nike Academy were at full strength in their first ever tournament fixture, playing against the physically imposing and technically assured team from Berlin. Hertha settled quickly and hit the front. Bromas pulled back emphatically dispatched by Abderrahmane. Almost immediately though, they gave the Nike Academy a chance to get back in it. Weisner bringing down Sayod for a penalty. But he blazed it too high. Bromer then played in Tezel and the left back slotted home to see her to go in two up at the break. This first half has been horrible. And still, we are in the game. Two nil down. What are we going to do about it? We need to get on the ball. We need to be more relaxed. We need to switch play. But we need to go out there with the belief that we're going to win it. In a tighter second period, De Silva should have scored, but Hertha scored the goal of the game, a brilliant build-up leading to Abderrahmane's sweet strike and his second. It finished 3-0 to Hertha, both sides getting what they deserved. I think we'll reflect tomorrow and say, you know what, we actually probably did okay in terms of the quality of the opposition you're playing against, but to get beat 3-0 you know, on any day of the week is uh, really disappointing. You know what, we've done okay for long periods there. Ben, you had him on toast. Second half, Fabi, excellent. You hung in there and you stuck at it and you didn't deserve a 3-0, but you did because that's what you got. Work on your craft, reflect, because we've got another game tomorrow. This game is already lost. That's in the past, and the future, the immediate future, is that I can win tomorrow's game.